so much for joining us here at Franklin Park Zoo. Welcome to Zoo to You. My name is Amanda. I am one of the animal care specialists here at Franklin Park Zoo. And here we're going to have a different type of animal encounter that you experienced yesterday. You guys might have tuned in and saw some of our black bears here at, Zones, at, at Stone Zoo. But today you're going to see something a little more intimate and different. And you can see that we're right here in our meeting bar here at the zoo. So I'm about to bring out my friend over here. We are in a shared space. This is an animal that we do get in close contact with as ambassador specialists. As she comes out, I'm gonna ask for you guys to guess what type of animal she is in the comments. So make sure to put that in and then we'll give you um, that answer when she comes out after a little bit. Are you guys ready? All right. So this here is my friend Ariel. Everyone say hello to her. If you see, she's kind of investigating right now, so if she leaves the scene, that's totally okay. She just wants to check out her area. But she seems pretty into focused on me right now. Ariel is about five and a half years old, and she's been here at Franklin Park Zoo for about three years now. Um, she lives in our behind the scenes area, so you only get a chance to see her for special programs like we're doing right here now. So this is a special treat for all of you guys. Here's Ariel. So you guys might have had some time to guess what type of animal Ariel is. And the answer is she is a fennec fox. Is she going to come explore over here? Come over here, Ariel. Good job. So fennec foxes are much different than foxes you would find um, native to all over New England. So in New England, you might see a gray fox or a red fox, and they are much bigger than what you see Ariel here looking like. Ariel is actually the smallest fox species in the entire world, um, so she looks much different, um, but they are in the same family. So that's a little bit about Ariel, and we'll get into more about fennec foxes throughout our program here. Um, but I wanted to talk a little bit about training. So you see right here on my wrist, I have something called a clicker. And you might hear me use it throughout this program. And then I have this here, we call it target. Target. Good job, Ariel. So what you'll see is, is that Ariel will either touch the target to the tip of her nose or she'll even paw it. She's allowed to do either of those. And that's this is her target. And that click means that she did a great job and that food is going to come. So that's all that training is. So a target is really important because it's type, kind of like what we call the ABCs of training. It's an extension of my hand and through this target, oh, God, I can teach her a variety of different behaviors um, that help her um, kind of live here at the zoo and we can communicate with her in that way. So with our training, everything that we do is voluntary. So that means if Ariel wants to leave right now, she can. Um, but she's choosing to be right now, and that's okay. We'll give her some area and some time to explore, and I'll kind of talk while we're, um, she's giving that time. And then I'll try to get her to focus again. Um, she has choice and control over her environment, as you can see, and we only allow her in her safe area, so she can't get in trouble at all. Ariel, do you want to refocus? Do you want to come up here? Oh, she might need a little bit of help. You got yourself down? Can you get up? Good job. All right, so we'll talk about how foxes are great jumpers in a little bit. Hi. I'm just going to refocus here here a little bit. You want to come up here? No, that's okay. So we talked about training. She has choice and control of her environment. So when I ask her to do something and she chooses to do it, she's going to get yummy treats. That treat for today of choice is going to be romaine lettuce. And that's something a little odd, right? I've never worked with an animal that chooses to eat romaine lettuce as her type of reinforcement. Um, but every animal is a little bit different. If she chooses to do something else besides what I ask, that's okay. I just ignore it and come back to her later or ask her for something else. So that way she has choice over her entire environment, as you can see right now. <laughs> so I'm going to give her a little bit of time to explore while I talk to you guys. So for the folks of us that are just joining in on the live chat with us, right here we're with Ariel. She's our fennec fox, and she's about five and a half years old. So she is kind of taking a moment just to kind of explore around. She does have a choice to kind of walk around and explore as she wants to. Sometimes she decides she wants to go do her own thing. Good job. So I'm going to spend some time over here, see if I can focus her attention. 
closer to this area, give her a new type of environment over here. So we also want to talk a little bit about, here, come back. there we go, good job, about conservation and where aerial comes from. So aerial is native to North Africa, and you can find them actually in the Sahara Desert. So if you look at her fur, it's actually really similar to the color of sand, right? And that helps her blend in with her natural environment. Hi, wanna come right here? Target. Now, Fennec foxes are not endangered whatsoever. They're actually doing pretty well in their numbers out in their natural environment. But there are other animals um, out in their natural environment that are suffering right now that are considered endangered. And that is um, the white antelope, or some people call the addicts. Um, they're a type of animal that is really suffering due to habitat loss, as well as their numbers decreasing due, in, due to hunting. Um, so that's kind of one of Ariel's neighbors that, she's, um, that they would spend um, their environment in. So definitely working on those conservation efforts. There are different types of programs um, around the country that are helping um, Africa deal with that um, population loss as well as habitat loss. So those are different types of conservation messages um, that where the Sahara Desert is kind of focusing on here. Ariel, you want to try to come up here again? Let's go around and try to get her focused. So like I said, fennec foxes don't really have to deal with um, that population um, decrease or that habitat loss, but lots of other animals in her native habitat do have that. So we can focus a little bit about fennec foxes that are kind of interesting. You may have noticed that she has those really large ears for that tiny little body. You might be wondering, why does she have those large ears? Do you guys have any guesses? Feel free to put them into the comments and we'll answer that question in just very shortly. Um, but as you can see, she has a really good sense of smell. Um, that definitely helps her survive in her environment. She can blend in with that color. And those are all different things that help her survive. Now uh, we're going to answer that question about her ears. If you guys had any great um, guesses or if you knew the answer. So it actually helps keep them cool. So those ears are really large and it helps with their circulation. So if they really get hot, some of their blood flow can actually go to their ears. And that way it helps them keep them nice and cool. So that's one thing that makes fed foxes really interesting and something a little bit different from them. Most foxes do have pretty large ears though as well, so you'll see that in common with her too. Um, other things about fennec foxes or foxes in general, they are considered an omnivore, which means that they're going to eat a variety of different types of foods that include meat and vegetables. So like I said, we are feeding Ariel some romaine right now. Um, we have a guess as to why we think that romaine is something really interesting for her is because it has a high water content. So if she's a desert species, she would want to eat food that has a higher water content. So that's why we think she seems to like romaine um, quite a bit. Um, other types of food they'll eat, um, they're really into um, mice and pinkies. We'll also feed them a type of Nebraska meat that's actually the same type of meat that we'll feed our lions and tigers here at the zoo. So that's also a really cool fun fact um, about these guys is that they eat a variety of different foods. She'll eat sweet potatoes and carrots um, and even some dog chow sometimes. So those are um, some of the different foods that we feed them for a variety. We like to give them novel foods or some, we like to call food treats. Um, some of those food treats, um, sometimes we'll give them baby food. Um, even blueberries is one of their favorites as well. Um, so those are a different variety of different foods that we'll feed them. And like I said, they are omnivores, so they will hunt out in their natural environment. Want to come up here? Good job. So as you can see, Ariel's been jumping around quite a bit around here. We have different platforms from her, and that's a natural behavior um, for fennec foxes, for them to jump around, and even for them to dig as well. And that digging into that sand actually can help cool them. So you'll see I'll let her run around a little bit kind of explore her environment. As you can see, she really leads with her nose and that's one of her best senses, um, as most canines are as well um, for most foxes. So you'll see her kind of running around a little bit. Now, Amy, do you have any questions at all for many of the guests? Yeah, I did have someone that chimed, uh, chimed in to ask what happened to her tail. 
That's a great question. So, um, Ariel was born under human care at another facility, and the mom that raised her actually overgroomed her, and that's why she doesn't really have her tail right now. Um, so Ariel lives under human care. She gets all the care that she needs here um, at Franklin Park Zoo, and that's just something that happened to her, and she's doing really well here um, and gets all the care that she needs. I talked a little bit about training earlier and how Ariel can actually participate in her medical care. Um, Ariel will actually voluntarily go onto a scale. She'll go into a crate, so that way we can take her to um, the vet hospital as well. And those are all different things that we can use to help care um, for her every single day that allows her to participate in that. All right, folks, and we can take just a couple more questions. Um, so how long can they live for from Jenny? Hi, Jenny, thanks for the question. That's a really good one. Ariel, like I said, she is about five and a half years old. Um, Fennec foxes in the wild will live up to 10 years, um, but under human care, they can end up living longer, up to 14 years. So Ariel's considered pretty young. She's got quite a few years to live here at the zoo where she spends her time as an ambassador animal, um, educating the public, um, and definitely we're able to provide her some enriching time during her um, long life here at Franklin Park. So I did have somebody that asked about the tail. So her tail is, would not naturally be that short. It, what, she was overgroomed by her mom when she was little, so which is why it's so short. So normally in the wild, they have a much longer tail that's usually about a foot long. So it's pretty big for their body. So right now I have a different type of treat that I'm using with her. This is what we call a pinky. It's basically like a tiny little baby mouse. Um, so I'm gonna give her a different type of reinforcement to kind of keep her entertained here as we're here on our talk. Do we have any other questions from any other guests right now? So this is actually her full size. So this is as big as fennec foxes get. So they are some of the sm they are the smallest variety of foxes. Any other questions that we have? Any champagne? All right. Me... So we do have one other fennec fox at the zoo that does live behind the scenes with Ariel. So that's her companion. These guys do live in small groups. So that is her friend to help keep her company.